Hi everyone. Here's the latest Element 27 motorhome. We'll go on a tour through this one and you'll see the colours, a few of the custom features that they've added, and I'll do our normal run through. So the Element 27 is 8.6 metres long, about 3.2 metres high. It's based on the Iveco 70C210 base chassis. So that means it's got 210 horsepower, it's a 7.2 tonne GVM. It's got airbag suspension in the rear, it's got an electronic diff lock. It has the three option packs from Iveco, which gives you features like radar cruise, autonomous braking, lane departure warning, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, tire pressure monitoring, factory, which is nice, and the LED headlights. So from the outside, you can see the colour scheme of this one's a bit different. This has been customised, which is something we can offer you if you've got a particular design in mind. All right, pull bar on the front's beautiful. Let's get through it. So side steps are standard, nice finish there. Got the hammer tone edge and the polished top. That protects this B pillar area just here very nicely, as well as giving you a convenient step up into the motorhome. Courtesy light up here. It does open the door that turns on and that'll work with the key as well. So that's nice. You can see we've got the awning out at the moment. So there's an electric awning. It's got a Bluetooth module as well, so that enables the wind sensor to work. So if it does get windy, it'll pack itself up. And there's an app on your phone to control it as well. There's a light, I don't know if it turned in, but there's actually a light in the end here that you can turn on through the controller inside or the app on your phone. Let's start looking at the storage. So in this front one, this is your generator fuel. So you've got around 35 litres of fuel here for the generator, which is gonna last a very, very long time. Conveniently located right next to where the diesel filler is here. So both on the same side, that makes your life a lot easier when it's time to fill. You also see the end of one of the slide-out mechanisms there that enables you very easily to activate the manual override in the rare event that you may need to. Got the double entry step. The entry step area is something where you can really see the thought that's gone into the design of this motorhome. The fact that the steps are very progressive on the way up as you go in. So it feels natural. You've got two handrails, one on either side. So we'll go inside the van later, we'll continue on the outside for now. This is the nice automatic door with security screen built in. And we integrate the colour scheme into that as well, so that's nice. Uh, you can see the 360 cameras here, you've got one just there, there's four of those around the vehicle. Plenty of outside lighting as well. These guys have added an extra uh, drinking water tank here. That's the filler for that. And you can control that from, in this case, the C-Zone screen, or if you add that on a, a Red Arc system, you can control it from the screen there. Plenty of storage outside. So all the storage lockers are three millimeter folded aluminium. And because it's like everything, it's all designed in 3D modeling software. It means we get exceptional accuracy with the laser cutting and NC folding techniques that are used to produce this. Now all the locks that look like this, except for the gas bin, are all electronically locked. So you've got a remote control, you just press the button and they'll all lock or unlock. You see the dual wheels there. So being the 70C, this is the larger tyre, axle and chassis combo. It's got the easy access to check your tyre pressures. Not that you need to so much now with the instruments on the dashboard telling you the pressures. I think the customer's already got a few bits in here. They do. But you've got your pull-out television, which just slides out here. Obviously the box is in the way for the moment, but you've seen how that works in other videos. So keep in mind, guys, we've got plenty of videos on our YouTube channel showing various colour schemes and models. So if you want to keep up to date on the latest ones that are out, make sure you subscribe. Fold down table. I need the key for this, but that folds down and gives you more 
table space, you've got an outside power point right next to the table, so that works really well. Gas bayonet point, it's standard. And the gas bottles, they're on a slide, two, four kilos. Nice and easy access there. Now with the battery bin, if you're familiar with these videos, you'll know that we're going to look at the batteries here at the moment. These customers wanted to be able to run their air conditioning off the batteries. So we change our recommendation based on that a little bit. They've gone for the Pro Level Enerdrive battery. Still the same capacity as our current standard. However, it can handle more current discharge for through the larger inverter here and charge quicker as well. So a lot of components go into this setup. And for certain builds, this is what we'll recommend. And that's coupled with the C-Zone control system. You can see we've got the wiring diagram there as well. So that's ready to go. All labeled nicely. So this whole system is made. So the idea is that you keep this closed and you don't worry about it. I'm using all these with one hand, so very easy to open and close those doors. It's an interesting design here, isn't it? All right, so on the back, you have got an extra light on the back there. Got that rear camera as part of that 360 camera system. A nice hard cover going over your spare tire. Solid aluminium bumper bar here. Obviously, they're color coded, tow bar standard, continuous hot water system standard. We've added this little tap here, which I like. Now, yeah, this corner here, conveniently, is where all your services are going to hook up. So, you've got your water inlet to fill up your tank, your water inlet for town pressure, you've got your power inlet, and then your grey water inlet. Outlet, I should say, is just beneath there. So this storage room becomes a great spot for all the hoses and power leads, because it's all right there. Nice and easy to access. Works well in that one. That's where you access your toilet. Generator under there. So you'll notice, I've mentioned this before, the positioning of a lot of these components are based around the weight distribution that's best suited for the vehicle. So water tank, batteries, generator, actually all behind the axle. And this avoids overloading the front axle on the Iveco truck. So what we find, a finished motorhome ends up with around 1,500 kilos load capacity on the rear axle and around 600 kilos load capacity on the front axle in spare. So and around 1.6 tonnes uh, beneath the GVM for you to load all your gear in. So, Outside storage really is one of the things, the many things that sets this motorhome apart. Under the bed, heaps of storage here. So they've got the, what we call the electric bed lift mechanism that they've added. It's, it's something we don't generally advertise, but we've done quite a bit of. So we designed a, a, a unit that allows you to tilt the head of the bed up to make it more comfortable to sit in bed and watch TV. So if you're interested in that, you've got an order in place, just keep that on your list of things to ask us about. Again, a couple more lights that are added. Storage and under the lounge. Nice big open space there. And then you've got your lower storage bin under the slide out. So this is one of those features that I know puts us at the top of the list for a lot of buyers. The fact that we're not climbing underneath to access that storage and it's so big and it's strong. We literally don't even have a load limit rated for these. We are not concerned in anything you're going to put in there.
right, so we're just about finished going around the outside. Obviously it's got the normal TV antenna and satellite dish on the roof. See the leveling leg under there. straight inside and have a look through there check out the colors all right so as we come in you can see the light in the step that's part of the feature light system there and you'll see some of those on inside got your yeah, umbrella holders there and the intake for the heater vent for the heater system i should say Such a good, such a good layout, this one. So you can see this one's got more of a beigey colour scheme. And something I love is the, uh, moss green feature wall here just gives a bit of a contrast against the graphite and alabaster cabinet so that's the names of the cabinet colors here so this is ultra gloss graphite and ultra gloss alabaster all right so let's start at the front now I've got some more detail in some other videos about the Iveco cab as well as some driving footage of the 360 camera. So if you're interested in how that looks, jump over to the channel, just have a look through that. You'll see this camera system in action actually driving, um, which is really such a good thing. Once you've had something like that with the tech, you'll never want to go backwards. I mentioned before, the Iveco is fully loaded with all the features that you could want to get from them beautiful leather seats so these are the iveco comfort seats and then we trim them in the leather color that you choose and there's a couple of different styles they're going for the paneling and you've probably seen the diamond stitching option as well in some of the other videos lots of storage good shelf space but a few people ask me about this so that gives you a bit better view of the shelf that's above there. So that the size of that has been designed around not hitting your head when you're getting in and out of the seat, but giving you as much shelf as possible there. And again, these solid stainless steel latches everywhere, beautiful hinges, lots of space in there, all nicely finished, even in the details in there. Look at that. I'm not sure if I've talked about it too much, but in behind here, there's actually a, a chromoly steel roll bar goes all the way around behind the trim there and that adds back in the strength that's taken out when this rear section of the cab is cut out so that's a feature as far as I know we're the only people that do that there's some that'll have an aluminium bar as part of the the frame of the body but not to the extent that we do all right. so with this power system they've gone the C zone which is nice yeah, this is the upper level C zone. There's a few entry systems out there that'll run a, a C zone. This has got the four meter interface as well as a few additional modules that give us some more features that make this really good. So you've got dimming lights, you've got more control, there's load shedding. Those things are all similar to uh, to the Red Arc system. Um, but we've got more things that we can monitor through here as well as we've set up the automatic start generator through this so we can start and stop the generator through that and also based on battery level in this one so they can set it and forget it and as the battery goes up and down it'll start and stop the generator slider controls heater controls got the four kilowatt heater on board that's plenty of power here inside your pantry done a slight alteration here we've gotten rid of the the um, acrylic door that lifts and lowers here because the coffee machine that the customer 
the supplied was a little bit big, so we altered that to suit. And that's bolted down into place there to make it nice and secure. Soft clothes, beautiful drawers. And again, these beautiful solid stainless steel latches. Look at that. No plastic clips, no little magnets. Just solid. If they're closed, you know, they're locked. Simple, reliable, beautiful. Those drawer boxes are nice, aren't they? Undermount drawer on us. So you're not seeing anything on the side, which is good. And this is literally the best drawer system you can buy. Kitchen. So they've had a slight alteration here in the fact that they've wanted an induction cooktop and this microwave that they specified here, which replaced the standard oven grill and microwave combo that we do. Again, nice big drawers. You got your beautiful blum inserts here for the cutlery and stuff. This is like a lined rubber, so it helps reduce noise and grippiness. Foil and cling wrap dispenser. See the remote control for the air conditioning and the TVs there will get mounted when they come in. Nice big massive drawers. It's a bit hard to get a concept for how big that is in a video. Full depth. Rangefoot's built in beautifully, and you can see in above, we're not actually using any space above it too. The vent for that goes directly outside the motorhome behind that. So we're not using any space, and it's venting straight outside. Overhead cupboards, again, these solid stainless steel latches everywhere. Top of the range hinges, all soft clothes. Additional shelving, non-slip matting comes with it. Two power points in the kitchen because of what they've done here with their different microwave kitchen setup they've got some more cupboard space there's our youtube channel going in the background you can see a different color scheme in that one so the tv does pull out so it travels back locked in where it was there and then i can just unlock it from behind and pull that out now I've done that with one hand, that's how easy it is. And you can see it's positioned beautifully for the lounge area there. So you can just imagine yourself sitting back, legs stretched out, watching whatever your favorite show or sport is. So to push it back in, two clicks, and that's it, and it's safe to travel. Got the shelf up the top there. That gives customers a bit of flexibility with what devices they wanna have to go with the television, whether it's Foxtel or sound bars or whatever. Standard, you've got the vast box that comes with the satellite television system. And the controls are all tucked neatly in behind here. Got the Fusion Audio. That's the top of the range Fusion Audio there. And you might have noticed outside, this one had the outside speakers as well. Plenty of wardrobe space. No jerking on the drawers. It all just opens and closes beautifully. So while we're here, got the under the bed storage area. In that bag is the supplied solar screens for the front cab. You might have spotted, there's the uh, curtain just there that they've added. So that's a nice feature um, that we are getting a few people add now as well. In the bathroom. This one's got the cassette toilet. And like you may have seen in other videos, you can get it with a marine flushing toilet as well. You got the other heat vent just there, and there's one next to the bed. So plenty of heater outlets. Washing machine, so it's the top loader in this model. Lots of overhead cupboard storage. Some accessories to fit later today. And lots of drawers. You'll see the bottom cupboard. As you 
gives us really easy access to the hot water system. So there's a lot of thought goes into details like this that for the long-term use of your motorhome, you know, thinking 10 years down the track, if there's anything with that hot water that needs servicing, it's very easy to access. There's a bit of room around it if you want to store some cleaning chemicals or whatever in there. Got the nice travel lock for the shower door, super robust, and a nice solid door too. It's 10 millimeters thick. Very solid, very nice. Great big shower. Again, it's probably hard to really get a feel for how big this is in here, but you can see the seat there in the corner. Or step, you might call it a step or a seat. But the shower really is, is quite large. Like whenever any people come and see these, and they look in here, they are blown away by how much room there is. Uh, the bed is a full queen width. So 152 centimetres wide and it's a full double length so 188 centimetres long so it's about six foot two six foot three in length so for most people that's fine we've got solutions if you need more great bedside cupboards so down beside each bed you've got a power point as well it's a bit hard to see there but you've got a usb dual usb output on both sides again soft closed drawers everywhere little spotlights reading lights. They've added a couple of Sirocco fans. Plenty of space up here too. Look at the size of the cupboard. Again, non-slip matting everywhere. These beautiful soft close mechanisms and the nice solid latches there too. You've got the second dish screen over here. So whether it's the Red Arc or the Sea Zone, you'll have the second screen next to your bed. Again, double PowerPoint and double USB down there. In the lounge area, the table can swivel, it can push up and down. It's quite adjustable there. More overhead cupboards, more lights. They've added the fridge option like we have in the Meridian as standard. Great drinks fridge there. And then you've got your yeah, fridge freezer combo unit. You know, so this is around 220 litres. Very efficient. They've actually got different modes on this fridge that can run even more efficiently or quietly or whatever, but in normal mode there, they, they're very good on power. And the mate makes the no noise. So we definitely a big fan of that model fridge from Dometic. Oh, the leveling legs, we didn't talk about those. That's another standard feature. And again, like a lot of things, there's an app on your phone for that as well, so it's the red foot leveling system from Australia here. All right, I think we're just about through the video. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know uh, a lot of our customers with orders in place use these a lot to help them pick their colors for their upcoming motorhomes. So if you like what you see, take a screenshot or reach out, give me a call or message on here and just ask. And we can document that down. Very nice, very, very nice motorhome. So if you're watching on YouTube, obviously you remember to subscribe, and like the video. If you're watching this on Facebook, jump on the link that'll be in the comments and jump over to the YouTube and, and watch it on there. It gives you a better opportunity to watch it on the big screen at home. All right, guys, I'm sure these lucky owners are itching to get in here and head off and travel around the country. So, again, thanks for watching the video. Any questions, just reach out. Have a great day.